In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Android smartphone so you'll be able to print and scan using your Brother MFC L2710DW. First, we need to connect the printer to your Wi Fi network. Go over here where the screen is located and we're going to press the menu button, this one. Then we need to use these arrows to navigate through the menu. Go down. Go down another time, another time, another time until you see network number five. Then press OK. Go down in this menu until you see WLAN Wi Fi. Press OK. Then we need to select the first option. Click the OK button. Click the up button to enable Wi Fi. It will now search for every networks that are around the printer and to shuffle through them, click the up or down arrow. Once you see your Wi-Fi network name appearing on the screen, press OK. Now it's time to type the password. Obviously, it does not have a keyboard. The only thing that this printer has is this number pad over here. You're going to notice it also has letter for each number. Let's say you want to type a number, well, go ahead and type a number. If you want to type a letter, press the number pad associated with the letter you want to type. Let's say I want to type a U multiple times. So for a U, I'll press once, twice, three times and the letter U will appear. If you want to type a symbol, click on the star and a symbol list will appear and then with the left and right arrows, you'll be able to select it. Press OK once you want to select the symbol if your password contains one. If you click on the hashtag sign, you're going to get even more symbol in case they were not in the first um, symbol menu over here. If you want to type a capital letter, let's say I want to type capital K, I'll press the number five a few times until I see capital K. Here we go. If you want to erase, press the clear button. To go to the next character, you simply need to press the right side arrow after you type it. So let's say this is number nine. This is what I want. I'll press right and then I'll be able to type the next number or letter of my password. Once you're done typing your password, press OK. Then you'll see apply settings press the upper arrow here to confirm and it will start connecting. Once it's connected, you're going to see connected. Press OK. Press this red button. This way you're going to go back on the home screen. Next step on your Android phone, open the Play Store. Then go ahead and search for Brother. And the app you need to download is over here, Brother Mobile Connect. Go ahead and install it. Open the app. Press next. Next. I agree. Next. Allow. Then press on the top here, add machine. Register your machine. Your brother printer should appear over here, MFC L2710DW, tap on it. Then press skip. If, you're, if your printer needs an update, this is where it will ask you to update your printer. So you can click update or if you want to do this later, just press cancel. You'll then get a green check mark. Press exit setup. And then it will bring you to the broader web page. I don't know why it does this. We simply need to go back on the app itself and you'll be greeted with the home page. Okay. It will just remind you that there is a new firmware, a new update available. If you didn't do it, you can install it if you want. But for the purpose of this video, uh, I'll show you how to print and how to scan. So to print a document, very easy, press document print. Select the document that is on your phone. Wait a few seconds, you'll get a preview over here. Here we go. You see there's a cogwheel. 
press on it. And over here, make sure that these settings are okay with the document you want to print. So the paper size, my is letter size, so I'll leave it like this. How many copies and the other settings. One important one is two-sided. If you want to print on both sides of the paper, you absolutely need to select flip on the long edge or flip on the short edge. I'll click this. And then you can select which pages of your document you want to print. If you don't want to print certain of them, simply uncheck them. Then go back, go back. And when you're ready, press print. You can extend this small flip like that because the paper will come out here. Oh. Now let me show you how to use the scanner. Open the top lid. Take your document and put it facing down with the top part of your document towards the left side. Then we need to align the corner of the document that is right over here with the corner of the scanner. Simply glide it until both are touching. Then close the lid. On the app, we need to go back on the main menu and select scan. Make sure that these settings are okay with you and press the scan button. Wait a few seconds. And you'll get your scan right over here. Press done. And now you'll be able to save it on your smartphone or share it on social media or email. You can also click the small cogwheel over there. Give this a new name. Okay, you can edit the name here. You can change the file extension. So if you're scanning text, select PDF. And file size, don't touch this. If you have multiple pages, that you want to scan, you need to use the top document feeder that is located right over here. Let me show you how it works. So I have here a document of three different pages. You can have more than this, obviously. Align them, make sure they all have the top part like that. Then we need to glide them right over here with the face pointing up and the top part of the page on the left side. Do not use any staples. Once you have inserted, you're going to hear a beep. This is just so the printer confirms with you that it will use the top document scanner and not the flatbed that we used previously. On the app, let's go back on the home screen and now select scan, press scan. And the printer will take page by page and scan them. Do not touch anything, you just have to wait until this is done. You can extend this small flap so the paper does not fall on your desk. At the end, you're going to have all your pages on this screen. And if you want to scan even more, go ahead, load them and then press add pages and the rest of the pages will be added to this document. Then press done. Make sure you select PDF if you want to combine each pages in one single PDF document. And then you'll have the choice by clicking the cogwheel, the same thing to choose a new name to rename this document. Then press save or share depending what you intend to do with the scanned document. Thanks for watching, I hope this was useful, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to get some ink, some paper or any other accessories for your broader printer, check my Amazon links in the description down below, you're supporting my channel every time you do so. So thanks and don't forget to write a comment down below.